The Tao Te Ching Chapter 11 In the ancient text the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu we can see that each verse is an aspect and expression of a variety of concepts of non-dual philosophy. In this video series we will look at each chapter of the Tao Te Ching sequentially. Let's listen to this verse of the poem, as beautifully translated by Stephen Mitchell, and then investigate its deeper meaning. The poem reads. We join spokes together in a wheel. But it is the center hole that makes the wagon move. We shape clay into a pot. But it is the emptiness inside that holds whatever we want. We hammer wood for a house. But it is the inner space that makes it livable. We work with being. But non-being is what we use. Now, let's explore how this verse ties in closely with non-dualist concepts. Emptiness and form. The idea of emptiness being the source of usefulness is a fundamental non-dual principle. Just as the center hole that makes the wagon move, is the empty space that allows it to function. Non-dualism asserts that emptiness is not mere nothingness but the ground from which all forms arise. Emptiness and form are intertwined, and one cannot exist without the other. Interrelatedness The notion of interrelatedness aligns with non-dual principles, emphasizing that all phenomena are interdependent. In this context, the emptiness inside that holds whatever we want, is what makes an object useful. Reflecting how the intangible can bring purpose and meaning to the tangible world. Balance and Harmony Non-dualism encourages finding balance and harmony in life, and this verse echoes that sentiment. Just as with a house, it is the inner space that makes it livable and functional. The balance between the tangible, and intangible aspects of existence, is vital for a harmonious and meaningful life. Non-being In non-dual concepts, the aspect of non-being, often referred to as emptiness or voidness, holds profound significance. Non-being does not signify mere absence or nothingness but rather it points to the boundless potential and interwoven nature of all existence. Embracing non-being means recognizing the impermanent and ever-changing nature of reality. Transcending fixed identities. And letting go of attachment to concepts and forms. Embracing the whole. This line reinforces the non-dual concept of embracing the whole. It reminds us that while the tangible aspects of existence may be apparent and have their advantages, the intangible, such as emptiness and non-being, play a vital role in creating purpose and usefulness in life. In summary, this verse from the Tao Te Ching closely aligns with various non-dual principles. Emphasizing the significance of emptiness, interrelatedness, balance, non-being, and the interrelation and the dependence between opposites. It invites us to see beyond the tangible world, and recognize the essential role of the intangible aspects, in creating a harmonious and meaningful existence. If you take one message from this verse, it is this. Emptiness, non-being, 
and the intangible aspects of existence, are crucial, and give purpose to the tangible and manifest forms we interact with in the world. The verse encourages us to recognize the significance of the space, the emptiness, and the non-manifest aspects of existence, which are often overlooked or undervalued. In our pursuit of creating, shaping, and working with tangible forms and objects, it is easy to forget that it is the emptiness within these forms that gives them purpose and meaning. Whether it's the center hole in a wheel that allows it to move, the empty space within a vessel that makes it useful, or the inner rooms of a house that make it livable. The verse reminds us that emptiness is an essential aspect of our experience. Ironically, it is when we can find the emptiness or nothingness within ourselves, that we can find peace, true freedom, and our unlimited potential. Ultimately, the message of this verse encourages us to value emptiness, space, and the intangible aspects of reality as much as we value tangible forms. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of the profound unity and interplay between opposites, leading us to a more balanced and harmonious way of living. Thanks for watching. 